So as you're going around a corner, if you're going around, so you come in your car and you go around this corner, <clears throat> going like five miles an hour. Does that throw you around very much? <clears throat> but then say you come around and you do the same corner, this time at 50 miles an hour. That's gonna be a pretty noticeable difference, right? Okay. So that's that radial acceleration. As you come around that corner, um, at five miles an hour, you don't have a lot of radial acceleration. Uh -huh. You're not being yanked around very much. But when you do it at 50, that's when you, um, you're, when you're really gonna feel it. Okay. It's not based on how much you're changing speed, it's just based on how quickly you change direction. So, <clears throat> so in this case, you got a radial acceleration that starts out kind of small, then it grows every time. So what in this equation changed to make it grow? The radio? Or like the so this is the radius. So this is velocity squared over the radius. So if this is just a circle, has the radius changed? Yeah. Oh, the radius, no, it's the same. Right, so wherever we go on this circle, our radius is gonna be this distance. So that rules radius out, so what about velocity? It changes. Yeah. So how does, how does it change, does it? get bigger or get smaller? Bigger. Right, so here maybe our velocity vector looks like this. And then it gets a little longer. And then it gets even longer. And then it gets even longer. Those are all tangential velocities. All right. <coughs> so if your tangential velocity is getting bigger. You're speeding up as you go around that circle. So as your tangential acceleration was going to be. What if we took these and we just spread them out? We said our first velocity was like that. The next velocity was like this. Third velocity was like that. And so on. What does your acceleration vector look like? Oh, it's going to be positive. Yeah. So it's something like that. So if we put that, kind of wrap it back around our circle, that means at this point, well, actually kind of in between, but we know that our tangential velocity will be accelerating us clockwise or counterclockwise. So the same thing will be like this here. And over here. And then what about angular acceleration? Will it be positive, negative, or zero? Uh, it's gonna be, be positive. Right. So your let's think about this. So AT equals omega, no not omega, equals alpha r. We already said that R isn't going to change. So if AT is positive, that means alpha is going to be positive. If AT is negative, that means alpha has to be negative. If AT is zero, that means alpha has to be zero. So there's kind of this relationship that we can draw out where we start with the radial acceleration. So 
we start with radial acceleration. If it's going up, what's happening to the velocity? So it's increasing. If it's decreasing, velocity is decreasing. <clears throat> and if velocity is going up, what's the sign on our tangential acceleration? Right. And the sign on our angular? Positive. So this is kind of how it works. If you if you have an increasing radial acceleration, that means you have an increasing velocity. Okay. Which means you have a positive tangential acceleration and a positive uh, angular acceleration. If you're then the same if it's decreasing, just an opposite. But then if your radial acceleration is not changing, so it stays the same, that means your velocity isn't changing, which means your acceleration is zero and your angular acceleration is zero. So then let's look at another one, we'll see how it works. So in a circle, what happens to the radial accelerations in the next one? So then it wants to know what the tangential acceleration looks like and whether the angular acceleration is positive, negative, or zero. So this would be zero? Yeah. Because they're all the same. Yeah, so our radial acceleration doesn't change, which means our velocity doesn't change, which means our accelerations are zero. And the last one, goes like this. acceleration will look like this. And your angular acceleration is negative. 